Right, on today's episode of Shit I Keep Forgetting to Do, uh, there's a spot on the fire trail down there, which the pipeline for the uh, estate's water system follows. There's a creek, a little creek coming across, uh, and it's washed out and uncovered a section of the pipeline. Uh, now, Initially, I was looking at it and thinking, uh, if I just toss some rocks over it, it'll be fine. But it's a heavy grade PVC pipe, uh, the Schedule 40. I can't remember what it actually is, but uh, it's the tough stuff. Um, but we do occasionally get people uh, trespass four wheel driving down there. Um, and. We have been known to get snow and stuff like that, and if it's just a pile of rocks, they might decide to drive over the top of it. They do that, uh, and a pointy end of the rock goes into that pipe under the pressure of a four-wheel drive tyre. Um, we're probably dunskies. It'll probably break the pipe. So I scavenged some steel. Uh, just C-section. Uh, big stuff from the pump station. A while ago, uh, it used to house an old pump. Uh, what I've got, I've got one piece sitting down there covering the pipe, but it's not long enough. So what I'm going to do is go down and measure it. Uh, I did do that a while ago, but uh, sometimes I forget stuff, and I forgot what number it was. So I'm going to drive down there, measure it, grab that piece of steel, come back up, uh, and start work on a cover for it. I got a couple more lengths of that steel lying around the place, uh, and this is going to be a bit of a multi-stage project because I've got to fix the plasma cutter, uh, got a cheapy one but it's been sitting outside for a while and the crap hose rotted out, I got a length of uh, air hose, so we'll fix that, uh, then cut the length we need, do a bit of grinding, do some welding, do some more grinding because I'm not a particularly good welder. Uh, the old adage of a grinder and paint makes me the welder I ain't. And then probably not today because it's quite late in the evening. I'll drive back down there and uh, put it over and pile rocks on top of that. Stop it from washing out, stop it from getting crushed, uh, stop it from freezing because uh, we are starting to get to the point of the year where we're going to start getting regular below zero temperatures up here. Yeah, let's get on with it then. So, just take a cruise down the fire trail. It's a decent drive. Most of this is a pretty good trail. There's a shit bit up ahead. Well, about halfway there pop the camera on and show you. It's not actually a bad piece of trail. All it is is that it's got a lot of switchbacks. Uh, a while ago, the council came through to uh, do some improvements on the fire trails up here uh, with the bulldozer and such. I wanted to put in a new trail. There's an old one that used to run down just there. Which I reckon was pretty good, but uh, apparently they had a better idea. Oh, we'll see how we go. There's that tree I felt. I need to come up and finish that off at some point. Because we're off property now, we're on the majority property owner's place. Uh, just polite, gave him a call on before I was coming down so he doesn't hear a vehicle and go, what the hell? You can see where they did some back burning. Need to come through here and clear a bunch of their ground based fuel load now. But we'll get there. Now, this is where the trail starts to get steep going down into the gully. Full wheel, low range, so I don't cook my brakes. First gear, just letting it cruise. You know, I said they did some backbone and through here. 
didn't get any big vehicles down here. Probably because of this trail. You see there where she tips off the edge there, it's a hell of a tight corner. To get a heavy truck around. And then you can see down on the corner there, that nasty switchback, which is a shit of a thing. So I'm gonna leave you here for a second because I uh, want both hands on the wheel for that, because otherwise I'm gonna tip off the edge and that would suck. Well, she's pretty hard underwater at the moment. You can see down there the white pipe. That's a piece of metal I've got covering it in there. Um, smart fella like me didn't bring me gum boots, so I think it's going to be uh, rolling the jeans up and walking in there, unfortunately, um, just to get a bloody measurement. It's all right. Wet feet never killed anybody, but you can see. I'll just step over onto there for a second. If I was to put a pile a bunch of rocks around that, now this is the trail running up, you can see. Uh, if I were to just pile rocks over that, and some numpty decided, who was down here four-wheel driving, decided to uh, do things the not correct way, uh, and went over the top of the rocks, because there is a big dip here, might cause trouble. Alright, well, I got the uh, tripod in the car, so I'll set this up so you can see my suffering. It's about 10 degrees at the moment, it's not cold, but this is still going to suck. Right, so a smart cookie that I am, I don't want to uh, stick my measuring tape underwater, but I do want to get a fairly precise measurement, so what I'm going to do, is I'm going to take a stick, I'm going to put it in there, mark the cutoff point with my knife, and then measure from there. Oh, oh that's cold. Doesn't need to be perfect. Just needs to work. That, folks, is why, although I do love, love, love my carbon steels, sometimes you've just got to use stainless. So we're at about six fifty. Give it an extra centimeter there. Six sixty. Problem solved. Stick returns to the wilderness. And let's get that piece of steel out. Pretty deep. Talk about cold feet. Right, because I'm not a complete asshole, I'm not gonna drive off the trail to turn around. So we're just gonna take a cruise down to near the uh, pump station to turn around. It's been raining a lot. And I'd rather not drive off trail if I can. So we'll just do a little bit of uh, extra driving. This isn't a bad trail. It's 
sort of washes out in some places like this where the uh, gully takes a uh, swing the property owners done a little bit of uh, repair work because of those uh, trespass four-wheel drivers that have come through previously who uh, decided that the best way to get through a uh, waterlogged area of trail is to uh, try and get themselves bogged for fun apparently but you can see she's sort of slowly washing out which is going to happen bit of a shame really but need to get access now that up there you might be able to see a pipeline running along the roadside there and the power lines that's actually an official road so theoretically people can drive down it but after this point here where old mates put up signs she's a uh, legally declared uh, road after that point it's private property It's down there in the distance there is the pump station. Now, quick note on four wheel driving, never stick your thumbs inside the wheel. Because if it grabs on something, it'll swing around and bust you. So we're just gonna take a cruise down. Sorry about the shoddy camera work. Let's take a cruise down past the pump station. <clears throat> Put some bush pinstriping on the side of the ute because this area of the trail is pretty overgrown. See up there the rock wall where there was a uh, road going through. So that's the pump station there. That houses pumps for us. By us, I mean the private estate. The uh, majority property owner he has his own pump, and the local golf course, which is some ways on further down here. So up on the left hand side here, you'll see it just in a second, there's more of that retaining wall on that road. foundations of an old building. And if you look off up on the hillside there, you might just be able to see a bunch of goats running off. Them boys is feral, I guarantee you that. But not my property and therefore not my problem. Alright, that's where I'll leave you for now because we're going to do a spin around in here. Which is a nice old spot, there's some bit, been some people camping down here, don't know that they're allowed to. But this is not old mate's property either so, not my problem. Yeah, you can see the road running up there which is where all them Coach just went running up. Yeah, there's feral goats around here, feral pigs. Not much to do about it. <laughs>